Man, look, I saw Chemayev in Jacksonville. And I'm like, how does this guy make 170? He's a big joker. You know, he's a big dude. Um, and 185, I'm, 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 honestly, I think he's in a weird situation because when COVID hit, he just, they, he, he was free to fight. So he fought at two different weight classes and had great results at both weight classes. Um, I think at 170 is more proven, but I think he can do more at 185 because he cuts a lot of weight to make 170. Sure. I think he's a 185 pounder, man. I saw him. He's a big, tall guy. Um, but Mo, you you've done them all. I mean, you were 184 pounds in wrestling. You went 211 in wrestling. You went heavyweight in fighting. You went to 205 in fighting. I mean, life is better when you're not cutting that weight. Yeah. I mean, interacting with people, trying to have a relationship, getting up in the morning, going through a day. Life is better. And he's a young guy, 24 years old. Maybe he's had a birthday and he's 25. Like that has to be factored in. Of course, he goes 185. Why have a miserable life? Just to win some fights. Why, why, why not do a couple more pull-ups and go win them up here and be happier? That's hard to explain to people, but you know what I mean by that. Yeah. I, see, see, the thing is, I feel like the problem with a lot of these people, these fighters nowadays, um, if you're going to cut weight, at least understand your style and understand things. If Jamai understands how he wants to fight, he wants to cut the weight, go ahead. But I really think that he's doing something with the service. And if he's going to lose to anybody... Um, because of, of ga his gas or gas issues or weight cutting issues, he'll be at 170. 185, he might have enough technique, sure. enough strength to beat those guys, you know, and be fresh enough to go a hard three to five rounds if needed. But at 170, watching with Gilbert Burns, um, I saw the if it was a five round fight, Gilbert Burns could have maybe you know turned it around sure. the last two rounds. Gilbert doesn't get enough credit though. He is a competitor. Gil Gilbert will go do a grappling match. Uh, on a weekend that nobody will even see just to get a competition in. I mean, he, he is that old school, let's compete. Yeah, I agree with you. And those guys are a handful. Just that alone, a guy that's willing to go and do that. Yeah, guys that wouldn't scrap, yep. go out there and scrap. Yep. Even on the line. Because I feel like <clears throat> John Jones should have been doing what Gilbert does. Like, if you're not, if you have a fight in three years, we'll go out there and in the wrestling tournament. Yeah. Um, you know, enter in a grappling tournament, you know, go do something that, that's competitive within, you know, combat sports. But when you're sitting there just rolling around and sparring with who knows who, I'm not sure if it's, that's going to get you to the point to be a champion again. Yeah. Well, he has uh, John Jones has the skill set to do it, but I just, the, the three years off, if he, so let's say he, let's say he stayed the same for three years, that means that he didn't improve. That means everybody else caught up. Or could be trying to catch up, or close the gap. Because if this is three years ago, or four years ago, and, you, and people say John Jones is going heavyweight, and 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 he'll be weighing in at two twenty five, a lot of people have been like, you know what, he might win, he he could he might be champion. Now, with the three year hiatus, people are having doubts, sure. and and I'm really thinking that with Cyril Gaon pushing in Ganu. To the limit. Cyril Gaon could have won that fight. Sure. If, he didn't, if he didn't go for that leg lock, he could have won that fight. Sure. And I think I think just Oh no, I, I think that I think he's gonna um surprise people. Oh, okay, that's the second time you've you've made that comment. So let's back up to this. In your mind, do you believe John Jones versus Francis Ngano that that is for sure Francis Ngano? Yeah. Oh you do? Okay. I I'm getting that tone from you, almost like Francis is the bar. Right, Francis because here's the thing, right? Like people Fail to realize that Francis was learning on the job. So when Francis fought Stipe, he was like, I'm going to go kill him because I kill everybody else. In the rematch, Francis was like, you know what? I have 25 minutes to kill this man. Let me take my time. Let me throw a jab. Let me cut him off. Let me just let me not just throw heavy hooks and uppercuts. I'm going to set this stuff up and make him run into something. Oh, he shot Sprawl. But before, he was just out there like, I'm the boogeyman. If I touch you, you're going to sleep. Now he's like, you know what? I can touch you, but I have to touch you. Let me set it up. We can't assume John's better today than he was three years ago. Maybe he can be equal, but he can't be better. It's like, well, yeah, that's that's true. And he's going to need to be better, isn't he? Yeah. So you have to remember this, right? When John Jones first hit the scene, when he first was on the scene, he was a younger man. Yeah. Full of energy. More volume. Now he's the older man facing younger 
younger athletes with more volume. And these guys are stripped bigger, stronger, and a little faster. John Jones is quick, but I, if you watch Cyril Ghosn, you'll see the, the, the speed differential is a little, little, um, little bit speed differential there. Sure.